Welcome back. Let's get you news coming in from the United States. And former president of the U.S., Donald Trump, has been convicted on all 34 counts of falsifying business records in the historical criminal trial in New York. It's the first time a former serving U.S. president has been convicted of a crime. He will be sentenced on the 11th of July. The ex-president could face prison, but legal experts are saying a fine is more likely the outcome. Donald Trump calls the verdict a disgrace and has attacked the judge who presided over the case, calling the judgment rigged adding that the real verdict will only come out from voters on the 5th of November during the presidential election. Trump also has uh, been uh, convicted of falsifying her business records to reimburse his lawyer for a $130,000 US dollar payment to Stormy Daniels on the eve of 2016 elections when her claim... Uh, this was a claim to have had sex with him that could have proved fatal when it came to his campaigning. Now, addressing reporters outside minutes later, he, of course, uh, said that this was all. He denied all those charges. Uh, the conviction thrust uh, uh, the United States into an uncharted political territory. However, this does not bar Donald Trump from continuing to run for a president. Even it, in an unlikely event, even if he is uh, sentenced, he can still run from office from inside prison. Never before has a former president been charged with a crime, let alone been convicted of one. Donald Trump today uh, finding himself convicted on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to cover up that hush money payment you mentioned uh, to the porn star Stormy Daniels over an alleged affair the pair had back in 2006. Now this was a gruelling six week and three day trial uh, that had everything uh, of a Hollywood drama. It had the president, the payoff and the porn star. But in the end, Donald Trump has been convicted. As you say, uh, there has been plenty of reaction tonight. Donald Trump himself said this was a rigged uh, trial by a corrupt judge. Uh, but Donald Trump is also going to be holding a press conference as early as tomorrow morning, uh, local time here in New York. It's unknown what he's going to say. Uh, we can expect probably that he will say similar things, like this is a rigged and corrupt uh, court process. But we know Donald Trump is going to appeal it ahead of sentencing, which is uh, in July this year, so not far away from that sentencing. And as you also said, it's more likely that he's going to get uh, a fine of some sort rather than a prison sentence. In theory, Donald Trump could actually be the President of the United States from behind jail. Uh, that is going to be difficult seeing happening, though. It would be so difficult to see Donald Trump in prison because he has to take Secret Service officers with him. It would be very expensive uh, to keep him safe as well. So it's unlikely, as I say, for him to go to prison. There are only a few things uh, that you need to have uh, by the Constitution to be the Commander-in-Chief in this country. For example, you have to be over 35 years old. You have, have had to live in the United States for more than 14 years and you have had to have been born here as well. There is nothing about uh, criminal convictions. So yes, Donald Trump could be the President, even though he is a convicted criminal tonight. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here.